Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Brian's Comic Book Bunker. Brian's Comic Book Showcase. This segment is going to be on Mr. A and the question. Both these gentlemen are created by Mr. Steve Ditko. And we're going to start off with Mr. A. These are self-published books by Steve Ditko and his co-publisher Robin Snyder. I sent away for these. These are $5 each. These are great comics. There you go. There's the back cover to that. And this is another here. There's great artwork there. So you can see there's the back page to that. And a very long speech by Mr. A on the back of that one. We'll get to later. And there's this one, of course. My favorite cover, Mr. A by Steve Ditko. And Mr. A is a uh, newspaper reporter in real life, Rex Grain. He works for the Daily Crusader. And he's known for his uncompromising principles, incorruptibility, and he fights crime. And the reason this stays in black and white is because this is a great page right here. To Mr. A, there's it's just black and white. There's no gray. It's good or evil. You're on one side or the other. That's a great page right there. And after a while, uh, after doing Mr. A for a while, he, he of course, he left Marvel, he left DC, Steve Ditko, and he went to uh, Charlton Comics, and Charlton Comics wanted him to come back to do the Blue Beetle, revive the Blue Beetle, and he created the question for the back pages, the backstory of the Blue Beetle comic, Charlton Comics. Charlton Comics, of course, uh, they sold out, they were absorbed by DC, and uh, what's uh, interesting about that is, this is the new question by uh, on the Black Label, DC's Black Label. When Charlton came over to DC, Dennis O'Neill wrote the book. And Dennis Cowan, who was doing the artwork chores on this particular beauty right here, was the artist for uh, Dennis O'Neill's uh, question. And they revived the character. And he's based in uh, Hub City, Vic Sage, and that's the name of this book here, Question, the uh, Deaths of Vic Sage. And he's uh, an investigative reporter, journalist, and he's a little toned down version of Mr. A. He's not quite as hardcore. And uh, so he goes on in DC Comics for a while. This is the latest uh, series here. This one I picked up yesterday. This is the third book in this series. There you go. A great cover there. Question. And there's the back page to that. And you all might be thinking that he seems familiar to you all. Especially with this drawing right here. These pages right here. We'll get on to that in a minute. And let's show you some of the interior artwork here. Yes, he does look familiar, doesn't he? Mr. Mr. Question, the question, Mr. Big Sage. He's the inspiration for Rorschach in The Watchmen. The Rorschach character. In Watchmen and Doomsday Clock. That's the origins of that. That's how Alan Moore came about that. Now, I'm going to read a little bit of this uh, back page here to give you the little uh, little feeling of how Mr. A conducts his business. And this is quite interesting. And this is the back page, back speech. Copyright 1969 by Mr. Steve Ditko. Fools will tell you 
that it's inhuman to live by black and white principles, but human to accept and practice gray principles to me, to be corrupt, to compromise with evil. There's no middle of the road between good and evil. They are not two roads going in the same direction, but opposite roads to different goals. Your choice of actions will determine in which direction you will lead yourself. Choose your road. No one can do it for you. And as you can see, there's, there's the sign there, good and evil. Right there. Good versus evil. And that's what he believed in. <laughs> and I wouldn't mess with... I don't think I'd mess with Mr. A. As you, as you can see here, this is typical Stevie Ditko artwork here. Very recognizable. If I could find my guy here for you. There you go. There's a great action sequence there. Great stuff. Mr. Ditko had it at, even at the age of 90. He published his own comics all the way up to age 90. Okay, that'll do it for this segment. And I'm glad you all tuned in here to uh, Brian's Comic Book Bunker and visit us here. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Have a great evening. And go peace and love. And hit that subscribe button if you may, please, and the notifications. And we'll talk to you later. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.